Greetings to everybody and welcome to this fascinating Q learning session. My name is Divya and I work with GoLogica. I will be taking you through this video on Q learning and its different parts. Now let's get started without any further wait. The majority of you have been undoubtedly heard of AI being capable of playing video games independently. DeepMind is one well-known example of this. The World Go champion from South Korea was defeated by DeepMind's AlphaGo algorithm in 2016, making headlines. In the past, there had been numerous successful attempts to create agents that were intended to play Atlari titles such as Space Invaders, Pong and Breakout. These programs are all based on the reinforcement learning paradigm of machine learning. The following provides a very simple explanation for you. So now let's see what is Q-learning. A model can repeatedly learn and get better over time by making the right decisions thanks to a machine learning technique called Q-learning. Reinforcement learning includes Q-learning as a kind. An artificial intelligence model is trained to emulate how animals or young children can use reinforcement learning. Rewarding or reinforcing behavior is the goal. Distancing and penalizing behavior is not. The training program uses a model to guide the training raymen in the state action reward in the state action form of reinforcement learning. For reinforcement learning, Q-learning offers a model-free method. The reinforcement learning process is not guided by any environment model. Q-learning approaches reinforcement learning in an off-policy manner as well. Finding the best course of action given the current situation is the goal of Q-learning technique. The Q-learning method can achieve this by either breaking from the established policy or creating its own set of rules. A specified policy is not required because of Q-learning might depart from the provided guidelines. So let's understand what reinforcement learning is. The science of making decision is called reinforcement learning. Learning how to behave in a way that maximizes rewards in a given situation is the key. Like toddlers discovering their surroundings and picking up skills that aid in goal achievement, this ideal conduct is acquired through interactions with the environment and observations of how it reacts. The student has to figure out on their own what steps to do in order to maximize the reward while there is no supervisor there. It's similar to a trial and error search process, this discovery approach. A deed's worth is determined by its potential for future reward as well the present one it deals. Reinforcement learning is an extremely potent algorithm since it can figure out the step that can lead to success in an unknown environment without the assistance of a supervisor. So now let's see how does Q-learning operate. Multiple components collaborate to train a model through an iterative approach by using Q-learning models. Through world exploration and ongoing model updates, the agent learns throughout the iterative process. Among the numerous elements of Q-learning, some of them are agents, states, actions, rewards, episodes, and Q-values. In agents, the thing that acts and functions in an environment, it is called as agents. States. An agent state is a variable that indicates where it is in surroundings right now. Actions. The way the agent acts in a certain condition is known as its action. Giving an agent a positive or negative feedback for their behavior is a fundamental idea in reinforcement learning. Episodes. When an agent is unable to execute any more actions and is ultimately terminated, it is called an episode. Q factors. An activity at a specific state is being measured using a statistic called the Q-value. So now let's see what are the advantages of Q-learning. There are various potential benefits associated with the Q-learning approach to reinforcement learning, some of which are free of models. One of Q-learning's main potential benefits for various applications is its model-free methodology, which forms its basis. The environment can be learned by the Q-learning agent while it trains, negotiating the need for prior information of it. Situations where the underlying dynamics of an environment are hard to predict or unknown or specifically well suited for the model-free method. Next comes optimization of policy. Without being rigidly bound to a policy that might not allow for the same level of optimization, the model can optimize to get the best potential output. 
Next comes flexibility. Q learning flexibility may be applied to a wide range of issues and contexts thanks to its model free of policy methodology. And offline data sets that have already been gathered, a Q learning model can be used for this. So we saw about the advantages of Q learning. Are there any disadvantages of Q learning? Yes. Additionally, there are certain drawbacks to the Q learning approach to reinforcement model, including the followings. The trade-off between exploration and exploitation. Finding the current balance between attempting new things and staying with what they already know might be a challenging for a Q learning model. This is known as reinforcement learning exploration versus exploitation trade-off. The multidimensionality curse. The curse of multidimensionality is a machine learning risk that Q learning may encounter. The issue known as the curse of dimensionality arises when dealing with high dimensional data, meaning that exponential growth of data is needed to describe the distribution. Decreased accuracy and computing difficulties may result from this. Overestimation. Every action or plan can be overestimated by a Q learning model, which can occasionally be overly optimistic. Outcome. When there are multiple approaches to a problem, Q learning model may require a considerable amount of time to determine which is best. So what are the some examples of Q learning? Procedures can be improved in a variety of situations using Q learning models. Some applications for Q learning include the following. Controlling energy use. Energy for various resources including gas, water and power utilities is managed with the aid of Q learning models. A Q learning model integration for energy management is explained in detail in an IEEE study from 2022. Monetary matters. Training models for decision making support including figuring out when to buy or sell assets can be constructed using a Q learning based approach. Online gaming. While the model learns the best way to progress, Q learning models can be used to train gaming systems to become players of a variety of games. System of recommendation. Ad platforms and other recommendation system can be improved with the use of Q learning models. Based on the products that consumer choose, an ad system that suggests related products can be made more effective. Automation. Q learning models can be used to train robots to perform a variety of tasks including transportation, obstacle avoidance and object manipulation. Vehicles that operate autonomously. Numerous models are used by autonomous cars including Q learning models aid in the training of models to make driving judgments like when to stop or change lanes. Supply chain oversight. Q learning models can help determine the best route for products to market by optimizing the flow of commodities and services as part of supply chain management. So now let's see what are the steps to make up the Q learning algorithm. Through interactive exploration of the surroundings and Q table updating in response to rewards, the agent learned via the Q learning algorithm process. In the process of using the Q learning algorithm, the following steps are involved. Starting a Q table. To track each action in each state and the corresponding progress, the first step is to establish a Q table. Next comes observation. The agent must monitor the environment as it is now. Action. Acting in the environment is a choice made by the agent. The model checks to see if the activity is good for the environment after it is finished. Update. It's time to add the outcomes of the Q table after the action has been taken. Repeat. Continue from stages 2 to 4 until the desired aim is reached by a model. So some of the applications of reinforcement learning in real world are as follows. RL in marketing, RL in broadcast journalism, RL in healthcare, RL in robotics, in gaming, image processing and manufacturing. So now let's see what are the challenges in reinforcement learning. Despite being the focus of attention and a new benchmark in the field of machine learning, reinforcement learning has many drawbacks which are outlined. Huge data sets. Reinforcement learning models require enormous data sets in order to generate more intelligent conclusions due to their complexity. Next come environment dependency. The reinforcement learning model's knowledge of how the agent interacts with its surrounding hinders the model's training. The agent picks up the knowledge from the environment as it is given at any time. And in an environment that is continuously changing, this makes the agent's training more challenging. Design of reward structure. 
for each real world application of reinforcement learning the problem statement must be examined in order to determine the proper framework of rewarding and punishing the model this is still another issue that the researchers deal with on this on a daily basis so what are the methodologies for applying reinforcement learning reinforcement learning can be applied in machine learning in three primary ways the first is value based the goal of a value based method is to identify the maximum value at a state under all policies or the optimal value function as a result the agent anticipates the long term return policy under pi at any state or states policy based this method uses no value function instead it finds the best policy for the greatest possible future rewards this method involves the agent trying to implement a strategy so that every action taken at each stage contributes to maximizing the reward in the future there are primarily two types of policies in the policy based approach deterministic and stochastic in deterministic every state the policy pi yields the same results in stochastic the strategy bases the generated action on probability the next comes model based in this method the agent investigates and learns about the environment by creating a virtual model of it this technique lacks a specific solution or algorithm because the model representation varies depending on the context so what are the elements in reinforcement learning reinforcement learning has four primary components that are policy reward signal value function and model of the environment policy an agent's behavior at a specific moment in time can be described as a policy it links the action performed in relation to the perceived state of the surroundings since a policy is the only thing that can specify an agent's behavior it is the fundamental component of reinforcement learning it could be as easy as a lookup table or a basic function in certain situations while it might need more extensive calculations like a search procedure in other others the policy may be either stochastic or deterministic next comes reward signal the reward signal establishes the purpose of reinforcement learning a reward signal is an instantaneous signal that the environment gives to the learning agent at every stage these bonuses are awarded based on the agent's good and negative deeds to maximize the overall amount of rewards for good deeds is the agent's primary goal the policy may be altered by the reward signal in order to choose different actions in the future for example if an agent choice of action results in a low reward next comes value function an agent can expect a certain amount of reward based on the value function which also provides information about how beneficial the circumstances and action are a value function describes a good condition and future course of action whereas a reward conveys the immediate signal for each good and bad action the value function is reliant on the reward since value cannot exist without it to attain more rewards is the aim of value estimation the next come model of the environment the final component of reinforcement learning is the model which imitates environmental behavior the model allows to draw conclusions about the behavior of the environment for example given a state and an action a model can forecast the subsequent state and reward because the model is intended to do be used for planning it offers a technique of making decisions by taking into account every scenario that may arise in the future before those circumstances arise the methods of using the model to solve rl problems are referred to as model based methods in contrast a strategy devoid of models is referred to as model free so now we are at the conclusion q learning is a potent and adaptable reinforcement learning algorithm that may be used to learn the best policies in a variety of settings while it might initially seem difficult to implement it is actually quite simple and can be a great tool for beginners to explore the fascinating field of reinforcement learning i believe you had gained a basic yet vivid understanding of q learning if you are looking to enhance your skills in the uh, q learning domain we would highly recommend you check golagica upcoming training session we hope this video answered the question which are burning in the back of your mind what is q learning do you have any doubts or questions for us mention them in this comment section and we will have our experts answer them for you at the earliest thank you